Okay. Several people saw the poster at, re at the registration desk and inquired, ooh, could I get that poster? So uh, some people said, hey, why don't you auction it off? So is anybody interested in bidding on this poster? U.S. currency. <laughs> Pre-Bush administration U.S. currency. Do I have any bids on this 24-inch by 36-inch poster? Okay. Shut the fuck up, smart asses. <laughs> okay, I have a bid of $1. How much? $20. Do I hear 25 $25 in the back. Do I hear $30 for this poster? $30, okay. Do what? You get to hang it on your wall. That's correct. We've got a DRM on this. That's right. You can see it once. The current bid is thirty dollars. Anybody go thirty-five? Um, no, <laughs> no. But if you need to run to the ATM tonight and pay us in the morning, we could probably do that. <laughs> Going once for thirty dollars. What do we have? Thirty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars! Holy crap! Bit, 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 bit. Is it going to see fifty dollars? Holy shit! It went to fifty bucks. Fifty-five? Sixty? Sixty-five? Seventy? What? Eighty dollars? And what's your bid? $1 Shut the fuck up! <laughs> what? Huh? He said $80. You can yell out a number if you want, or... <laughs> now, the funny thing would be if these two guys are roommates. <laughs> So we're at eighty dollars. Are we gonna go to eighty-five? It just been eighty-five. We're at eighty-five. Night. Good God. Okay. Ninety dollars. Is it, is ninety gonna do it? Ninety-five. All right. He said you can have it for ninety bucks, man. Going once. Going twice. What? What? Ninety-five dollars. A hundred bucks. Man. Hundred and five? What? This guy must have funny money or something. He ain't planning on paying. Hundred and five is your bid? Too rich for your blood? Hundred and ten dollars. Is Todd Lyle still around? Can you get Todd? Yeah. He's counting his money. All right. We're going to go get the artist to autograph this one for you. Ooh. Current bid's $105. It's 110 Who's got the 110 I suck as an auctioneer. Yeah. I can run a con, though. Who's got a Sharpie? Come on. Lots of people got Sharpies. Would you uh, autograph this, please? Thank you, sir. Actually, hang on a second, because the person who pays the outrageous amount of money might actually want their name on this.
Yeah, this is true. One ten. Do what? We got one ten, one ten, one ten. Who's gonna give me with the one ten? Anyone gonna go to one twenty? One twenty. This is one of the finest. One twenty. We got one twenty. The other one's one twenty, sir. We got one twenty. Okay, we got one twenty going over from this man. We got one twenty. He's got to show it. We got to think. We got a man. He's calling you out. He's saying off the currency. So he's got. So wait. Don't wait. What's this? He's, he's got 120. He's got 120. So he sees the money. Till he sees the money, you've got the 120, sir. Yes. Okay. Just to remind everyone, this is one really beautiful piece of art here. We have the artist right here to sign anything you need. He'll say anything you want to, anything within reason. Wait, wait. It, it, it. We got our we got our own version of Verisign here to do some uh, verification. Just going down to the room to get it. All right. We're g- the high bid is one twenty. Into the no, it ain't into my pocket. Damn. It go. It goes into no. It goes into the Nashville 2600 nonprofit corporation general fund, which is what we use. Which is what we use to actually. Yes, we have a bid for 125. So he's out of the running right now because. He's not bidding, so you, you, there's your competition, 125. Yeah, we'll, 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 when she gets back up, we'll see the money. <laughs> well, you know, he might be bidding a million dollars. When he asked me earlier if 50 bucks, he could wait until tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Okay, right now, right now we have we have three bidders in the in the auction. We're gonna go. We're we're going to table this until she. Get, but that'll be the last going to get money when she comes back up. I'm gonna go ahead and let Sky Dog do the Wi-Fi race announcements. The wieners. The wieners. Got the other mic. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? How are we doing? Are we having fun? I'm not going to spill your beer, man. I don't, don't drink abuse. my beer. So, uh, I'm Sky Dog, if you didn't recognize me from the fucking video earlier, which I'm never going to live down, but we love. So, anyway, uh, hang on, let me pull my list up here. Did the Wi-Fi race last year? This is the second year we did it. We did it as a fox and hound style chase. Uh, where's Tate? Where's my boy Tate? Tate! Tate! There he is. Here's the fox, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the fox. He did a wonderful job. I told him don't get caught in the first hour, but one hour, eight minutes. He got caught. What can we say? Decode, get your team up. So this is Decode, Maxi. This is Team MILF. Uh, we let them go out and play some. So I got our team. All right. We, hey, we also had uh, three other teams. Pony Boy, come on up here. We had Team 513, Team 901. We had Team MILF. And we had Team uh, Ty Knox. So for those that were uneducated... The fox is in the field running around. They had to chase him down based on Wi-Fi. They had a low-tech solution. They rocked it, baby. Oh, yeah. They had to catch him in traffic. Uh, Decode was actually sweet enough to give me back the token. It says uh, Wi-Fi Race.com 10-2205 winner. Had a code that they had to give me over the phone to make sure that they had actually caught the fox. So we didn't have a ton of cash to set this up. Sponsors are kind of hard to come by it sometimes, especially when you're sitting in your ass and you don't know what you're supposed to do. Anyway... 
Hey, you half-stepping little bitch. So anyway, so, so what I did, we had a little bit of fun with it. He gave me back the original token. He had his own set made, one for each of his team, which I think is a great, great gesture. We have for you the ultimate desktop toy. It's Darth Tater. Now you, we got that? My nine-year-old wanted this motherfucker. Anyway, you guys get to fight over it. I kick his ass because he's got it now. We also had custom printed shirts. The wi Nashville 2005. I drove, I chased, I captured. There we go. You guys have them. Split them up. There's a 3X in there. A quad X in there. Also, what they won. We're doing a limited edition shirt. I've got their autographs. We're going to set up a, a nice little uh, shirt similar to this with everyone's autograph on it, the winners in the center, the rest of the people that competed on the outside edge. They're all going to get theirs for free. Everybody else has got to fucking pay. Anyway, and next year, next year they're going to sit with me on a panel. They're going to tell everybody how they fucking did it. Their low-tech solution, even including Deco diving halfway through the window to get the token. So, boy... A few people die, but nobody involved with Well, not, not that you've heard about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't us. I don't know what you heard. So next year we're going to do it again. Got to have some more people come out and have fun. We're, we're going to put a few extra twists into it, so I encourage everybody to have a good time with it. Hopefully we'll have the uh, gold bars and everything to give away next year. Guys, give them all a hand. Okay, we have the money runner back, <clears throat> so are we good to go? All right, so we're back to three bidders, you, you, and you. What were we at, 125? You, you had the last bid. Oh, he, yeah, he wanted to do 150. Is anybody going to try against 150? One fifty going once. One fifty five. Okay, I figured yeah, all right, one sixty. Nope, it's yours for one fifty five, man. What is your any well okay it's gone on long enough and it's like a hundred bucks more than I thought anybody ever paid for it. You want it signed by all the staff. Okay, all right. Let's get a, let's see, Ethan, listen, Tillman's sick. He caught like the con crud. You don't want him signing shit. So, um, Skydog. Yep. Make your comment. All right, there's one thing I wanted to fucking bitch about that I didn't bitch about, and I don't remember... I'm, I fucking already cleared this shit, and I'm working on this. I don't even know what was in that. I want to say one thing. And, and, you know, I complain about Republicans because Republicans don't like civil rights. They talk about how they want a limited government, but they want a limited federal government is what they really want. And they, they use the libertarians the same way they use the Christian conservatives and... You know, I mean, they're full of shit, but the reality is the Democrats are just as much full of shit. It's just so much that they don't matter anymore because they're not in power. But Hillary Clinton. All right, how many people here have played Grand Theft Auto? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let's do this the other way. Raise your hand if you have not played Grand Theft Auto. What the fuck is the matter with you people? Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, no, 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 this guy wins, you win, you win, as long as she's hot. No, you you win. He wins. He wins, and nevertheless, the first fucking thing, I mean, obviously she's going to make a contention for president in 2008. 
the first fucking thing she does. Now, there's this line in Office Space about how you, when you go to prison, you know, kick somebody's ass the first day or you'll end up being somebody's bitch. So the person she, whose ass she kicked the first day is yours. No, wait a minute. There was an ulterior reason for that. I don't fucking care. Porno? The dude didn't even take his clothes off and you had to modify the binary in order to do it. No, no. I think they can. I'll tell you this. Number one. No, no. No, I understand. No, no, I understand. This is not going to take that. I'm almost okay, done. Okay, okay. I'm not planning to go on for ten minutes here. No, I know. They're fucking trying to shut me down here, man. Look. Look. Freedom. I didn't hear that. I'll come back to you later. Freedom of speech is important to me. And the reality is that Grand Theft Auto is not intended for children, okay? If you've already decided that you're going to buy a video game for your kids where they get to be a gangster and, like, fucking do drive-by shootings on other gangsters, and they have to modify the fucking binary in the ROM in order to get access to the sex scene, I mean, where the dude doesn't even take his pants off and it's polygons, give me a fucking break! I guarantee you... I guarantee fucking to you when I, 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 I actually, as a matter of fact, when I was 14 year old, I had access to much more interesting pornography, and most of it was not supposed to be stuff that I had access to. If you're smart enough to fucking hack the binary in Grand Theft Auto, you can get much more interesting shit much more easily. Okay. Hillary Clinton does not like us. She does not want us to fucking play those video games. Because the majority of Americans don't like civil liberties. They like censorship, and they want to kick somebody in the nuts. Republican, Democrat, they want to kick somebody in the nuts. And she came out and kicked us in the nuts. And so I don't know who the fuck to vote for. I vote for the re fucking libertarians, a bunch of pot smokers with guns. I mean, fucking A. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think drugs and... And guns are cool as as like separate issues, but combined, that's a that that's a that's that somebody's gonna get hurt. Okay, so I don't know who the f I hate everybody. I fucking hate all these people. But I'll tell you what, these people are not your friend. And I wanted to bitch at her for calling us out because fuck her. I have a right to play that video game on my fucking computer if I feel like it. That's what freedom of speech is all about. Yes, you do. The goddamn yes, microphone. you do. I'm sorry for hogging your time. <laughs> It's not my time, it's other people's. I'm trying to be... Yeah, yeah, I, so. I, everybody ought to stay for Knox and his friends for as long as they go because they are going to fucking entertain you. And, and They're going to be hilarious. For hogging time. Okay. You, you bring up the deal with some fucking calls or something. I, I didn't do that. That was fucking somebody decode, did. man. Okay, next up we have the uh, very quick masquerade ball. And actually, before you get too far into it, Knox. He's back there and com oh, okay, comedians, come forward, please. Oh yes. Oh. What? Okay. All right, fine. All right. Okay. What's going on? Get okay. Do the costume contest. All right. Can I get? Uh, uh, we don't have too many entries this year, so it's going to be short. First up is Media Inspired Shadow 404. Get your ass up here. Shadow is Rusta from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you don't know what the Hitchhiker's Guide is, then don't worry. Tal is from book number two. You're the only entrant, so you win. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Okay, I heard you. There you go. Chocolate covered espresso beans. Congratulations, Shadow 404. Next is Gray. 
Gray is Commander Graybug. It is a sci-fi costume. He is, of course, the only entrant in this category. <laughs> Congratulations. Next up is Fantasy and Historical. The only entrant is Gimwick as a vampire. There you go. Nope. There you go. Congratulations. Next is the humor contest. First up, we have Oddball as, well, I think this is the horror entry. This is the anti-Oddball wearing clothes from American Eagle and The Gap. I am, in fact, horrified. Not really. It's really scary. Next up in the humor category is L Unit. Newbie, what L Unit is up in this bitch? We're all up in your mom with cerebral rhymes and sticky fingertips. L Unit. What's up, bitches? Newbie, what? Is that the cop? <laughs> Fuck. Since we actually had two entrants in that category, can we get our two judges to confer and decide? While they are conferring and deciding, I will do the next category. The next category is Miss Freaknik. We have three entrants this year. Can I get my Miss Freaknik entrance up here, please? No, he didn't. One, two, three. All right. First up is Lissa to my right here. Lissa is in the costume... It's a fucking dress. Next up is Jessica. Jessica is the freak nurse. And last up is DeZulu with Miss Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. One moment, please. My judges seem to have uh, disappeared, so we'll do an audience judging. Yeah, it sure does. First for the humor, anti-oddball, give me a cheer. And for L unit. That's close, but I'm going to call it as L unit. I have a tic-tac-toe shot glass set for you guys. <laughs> All right, for the Miss Freaknik contest, Lissa? I forgot her name already. Jessica? And Dorothy? I'm going to call that one on Jessica. <laughs> Jessica gets this wonderful lamp. On one side it says keep out, and the other side it says knock. I figure she might need it later. Congratulations. Can I get a cheer for all of my entrants? All right, thanks a lot. Don't move. Knox's comedy troupe is coming up in just one moment. Really, don't move. <laughs>